हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज कॉल्ड एज एक्सपर्ट सिस्टम आई एम योर इंस्ट्रक्टर भूमिन मांडलिया फॉर दिस वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस टूडे इज आउटलाइन द टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू कवर अप दैट द फर्स्ट वन इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू आर्ट इंट्रोडक्शन टू एक्सपर्ट सिस्टम सेकेंड इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग एंड यूजिंग डोमेन नॉलेज ऑफ एक्सपर्ट सिस्टम थर्ड इज एक्सपर्ट सिस्टम शेल्स fourth is knowledge acquisition so let us start with the introduction of expert system first of all see let us learn first of all what is expert system expert system is a piece of software which uses databases of expert knowledge to offer advice or make decision in such an area as medical diagnosis financial advice coding games etc so let us first of all understand that expert system is a software or we can say it is just an application or it is a robot also and that robot will be able to suggest some important therapies in medical diagnosis let's say in medical field we are having an expert in form of doctor so that doctor is going to suggest me some important therapies and uh, some useful prescriptions so those useful prescriptions can be suggested by expert system also so that is a huge part of expert system so in form of doctor we are having one computer available we are having one system available and that system is going to suggest and advise like a doctor and doctor is an expert in medical field so that is why that system who is going to work like a doctor is called as expert system itself okay now see the examples of expert system is youtube copyright mechanism for example let's say if i am going to upload the video of the other person then youtube is going to ban my video okay youtube is going to cancel my video so for each and every uploading of youtube video is there any person who is going to cancel the video who is going to ban the video not at all so the same thing will be carried out by expert system likewise doctors diagnosis system chess game if i am going to play a game i am going to play a chess game in front of robert so robert is an opponent so chess is a game which can be easily played by an expert player only okay otherwise there will be no charm in playing the game chess so that is a main example that if the robot is trained in such a way then that robot is called as my expert system getting my point or not okay now see next is representation and domain knowledge so how we can say that this is the expert system and which can be the components of expert system how we are going to include the knowledge in domain knowledge so that is a main part of expert system so expert system has many components and each component has its unique role so in expert system we are having first of all one user interface one inference engine knowledge database uh, expert knowledge and we are having one non expert user so how all these things will be connected and how all these things will work so if we are having one non expert user let's say i am not a doctor i am a patient so patient will be considered as my non expert user okay so patient is going to use the uh, expert system so non expert user is just like a user of that expert system okay so definitely user is going to uh, work with user interface itself so ui is there one inference engine is there inference engine is termed as the mind of that expert system so the program that we have used to train the expert system is called as my inference engine getting my point okay one knowledge database is there knowledge database will have all the knowledge or we can say all the rules which will be used for training purpose so here we are having one expert knowledge user okay so expert knowledge user is going to transform all the data in form of rules to knowledge base in between these we are also having one more entity that is called as knowledge engineer right so that knowledge engineer is a person 
who is familiar with the computer it field okay who is be who will be familiar with the programming area so let's say doctor is there then doctor is going to transform all the knowledge with that knowledge engineer into knowledge database so knowledge base is just like a database which will have all the uh, stored format area of knowledge itself so we are having non expert user which will be just like a patient patient is going to query the user interface that for example let's say right now i am feeling with cold i am having a fever uh, i am having a joint pain so what medicine should you will you suggest okay what prescription will you suggest so that is an expert system so important therapies and prescriptions will be suggested by expert system only right so that is the user interface inference engine is going to fetch the important prescription by matching all the symptoms okay so this is a main part of representing and domain knowledge next is expert system shell listen uh this figure is somewhat equivalent to the previous figure so expert system shell is a special purpose tool designed based on the requirements of particular application so expert system shell is going to consist of all the components for one problem only let's say it can be the problem of financial advising also it can be the problem of uh, uh, medical diagnosis also it can be be the form of investment analysis also all these tasks can be carried out by expert system only so an expert system shell is a special purpose tool designed based on requirement of particular application so first of all we are having expert expert is going to enter the knowledge enter his knowledge for example doctor is going to enter his knowledge a uh, stock market predictor is going to enter his knowledge so that will be entered into knowledge acquisition sub system that knowledge acquisition sub system will be forwarded to knowledge base right knowledge base will be connected by inference engine inference engine is connected with explanation sub system with ui and ultimately with user so we have understood the basic role of knowledge acquisition sub system okay so knowledge acquisition sub system is a way to insert knowledge in my knowledge base right so knowledge base as we have discussed it is a knowledge database inference engine is just like a mind of expert system or we can say a brain of expert system explanation sub system listen everyone explanation sub system is a uh, just like a speaker of explain expert system let's say if i am going to say uh i am having fever i am having a joint pain i am also having cold then what can be the disease i am suffering from okay whether i am suffering from pneumonia i am suffering from allergy what kind of uh, disease i am suffering from so that will be explained by expert system and expert system is going to uh, verify that this doctor has suggested this type of prescriptions and advices for this disease and for these symptoms so that task is carried out by explanation sub system okay user interface will be definitely there okay so that uh, in a proper format the output will be displayed and last is user itself <coughs> now knowledge is faced from various experts like doctor and related people so this is a task which is carried out by knowledge acquisition knowledge acquisition will be uh, carried out by knowledge engineer also so there will be one uh, knowledge base or we can say a database engineer so that will be easy to fetch for inference engine explanation sub system gives answer to user by converting it in form of how and why so that is a portion of explanation sub system now we are having some of the examples of expert system 
first is dendral expert system these expert systems are already in use made this is made as a chemical analysis expert system so it is used to detect organic molecules using mass spectra so this is a main task of dendral expert system and it is basically used for chemical engineers next is cadet cadet expert system is a diagnosis support that can detect cancer in form of early stages okay so when the process of cancer the disease of cancer starts at that time this cadet helps to detect the cancer next is mycin expert system this mycin expert system we have already studied in the chapter of statistical reasoning when we had learned the concept of uh, certainty factor okay so that is called as mycin expert system so it is a backward chaining expert system designed to find bacteria causing infection now next topic is knowledge acquisition so a knowledge engineer interviews domain expert to explain expert knowledge to be translated into rules now doctor is not an it expert Dot, doctor is not a programming expert so that will be carried out by knowledge engineer so knowledge engineer interviews a domain expert that means he is going to ask some things to doctor and after that it is going to enter acquire all the knowledge into knowledge base so it will be translated in form of rules so after initial system is built it must be relatively refined until it approximately expert level performs so for this iteration will be carried out and once i will be able to say that now the full knowledge has been gathered i am going to refine it and ultimately the task will be completed for knowledge engineer okay now this process is time taking so if we don't want to include knowledge engineer then can we have some expert system or we can say can we have some system for knowledge acquisition also so knowledge acquisition is not a uh, possible in a full way listen so there are many programs that interact with domain experts to extract expert knowledge efficiently okay so many programs that interact with domain expert to extract expert knowledge efficiently see now this program supports three activities if we don't want to include knowledge engineer in form of intermediate then first of all the system is going to say that entering knowledge uh, the doctor has to enter the knowledge in the system after that system is going to maintain knowledge base consistency and last is ensuring knowledge base completeness so once each and every statements are inserted by a doctor that means by an expert so what that system is going to say system is going to enter all the knowledge in form of rules in knowledge base see knowledge base will be able to store rules only knowledge base will not be able to store entire statements provided by doctors so that is why these three steps must be carried out so most knowledge acquisition programs are restricted to a particular problem solving like diagnosis okay so most knowledge acquisition programs are restricted to a particular problem okay so programs can structure its knowledge base around symptoms hypothesis and causes so knowledge base is totally based on symptoms hypothesis and causes so knowledge base will have a storage let's say if the person is having fever person is having cold person is having runny nose then he might be suffering from malaria okay let's say the person is having only a uh, cold and person is having fever then he might be suffering from normal viral fever so these uh, associations will be stored in my knowledge base okay so once the system symptom has been uh, has many causes so program can ask how to decide that one hypothesis is better than the other okay so mole expert system is a part of knowledge acquisition system listen everyone previously the expert system we had studied that was also in use and this mole expert system is also is in in use mole expert system is based on classification it is going to demand all the details in terms of symptoms and causes so it will uh, 
list out all the classified symptoms and causes and after that according to the comparison it is going to store in form of knowledge base right so let's say for uh, for malaria which can be the symptoms for dengue which can be the symptoms for simple viral fever which can be the symptoms so all these list will be carried out this mole expert system so that uh, for inference engine it will be very much easy to fetch the final result getting my point or not so this is a task of knowledge acquisition system and at last we have studied that how to remove the intermediator which is called as a uh, knowledge engineer okay so this is a scenario of knowledge acquisition okay so this is the thing that how we expert system works getting my point or not okay so thank you for paying your attention thank you students